In this video, I will discuss some of the important functions of thrombin, but please note that thrombin is a molecule with a variety of different functions, so it is not just limited to what I discuss in this video. First of all, let's remember how thrombin forms. In the plasma, we do have an inactive enzyme. It's a plasma protein called prothrombin. The enzyme prothrombinase is the one that, at the presence of calcium ion, activates prothrombin. And we name the active enzyme thrombin. So that's how we get thrombin. Thrombin, at the presence of calcium ion, changes fibrinogen, which is one of our plasma protein, into fibrin. What is the difference between fibrin and fibrinogen? Fibrinogen is soluble but fibrin is insoluble and those are the fibrin molecules that form the network of blood clot. Basically the fibrin molecules start laying down in the spot that the wall of the blood vessel is damaged and form a network that would be kind of the foundation of the blood clot. However, when fibrin molecules form, they're not strong, they're not very stable. Thrombin can help with this by activating clotting factor 13. And we know that the active factor 13 is called fibrin stabilizing factor. That's the one that makes these loose and weak uh, fibrin molecules strong and stable. So, so far, two functions for thrombin. The next thing that we need to know about thrombin is that thrombin can act as a catalyst. It basically speeds up binding active factor 10 to factor 5 and calcium ion. And we know when these three bind together, prothrombinase forms. So we can say that thrombin, by accelerating binding active 10 to 5 and calcium ion, basically speeds up formation of prothrombinase. Another function of thrombin would be activating platelets. Recall that activation of platelets is absolutely necessary for the formation of platelet plug and also blood clot. And we can say that thrombin basically participates in this positive feedback system by activating more platelets so we can get the chemicals from the platelets and also by speeding up binding active 10 to 5 and calcium ion and therefore speeding up formation of prothrombinase. But let's clarify that even though the four important functions that so far I discussed are all involved in uh, formation of blood clot, thrombin has a role in removal of the blood clots. Sometimes blood clots accidentally form and also um, even when blood clots form, when it's absolutely necessary, at some point we need the blood clot to be removed so repair can happen in that area. While the network of fibrin molecules form, one of our plasma proteins, which happens to be an inactive enzyme, gets stuck within the network of the fibrin. That inactive enzyme is called plasminogen. When the time comes, for removal of the blood clot, one of the many molecules that can activate plasminogen is thrombin. Thrombin activates plasminogen and the active form is called plasmin or fibrinolysin. This is the molecule that can break down fibrin molecules so they can be phagocytized and removed from the area. So this would be the involvement of thrombin in even removal of the blood clot. But the other four impacts that I discussed, they're all involved in the actual coagulation. As a summary, thrombin speeds up binding these three together to speed up formation of prothrombinase. Thrombin changes fibrinogen into fibrin. Thrombin activates factor 13. And also thrombin activates platelets.